Uh, welcome to SEMA 19. I'm Stuart Marty, the General Manager of TurboSmart. Uh, the last two, 12 months for TurboSmart has been massive for us. We've broken a lot of records, done a lot of new product development, and expanded our reach and our sales, our online presence, everything that we can do. We've been working on the, the business as a whole to grow it and better service our customers. We've just wrapped up World Time Attack a couple of weeks ago. Every category in World Time Attack, we were on the podium. Our products are on the outright winner again. So every year of World Time Attack, our customers cars have won every category of the event and we're really happy with that. In the drag racing scene we've we've been rolling out our new Gen V wastegates with a CO2 control. We've had a lot of teams pick up the technology that we've, we've been rolling out over the last two years and, we're, and the, the records have just been rolling in. Everything to do with drag racing, people running our gear are just breaking records and we've just got people coming to us and saying, hey, we want to get on board, we can see what's happening and we can see that you've got the right technology and, and, and we want a part of it. With our external wastegates last year, we implemented um, some new colours. We put our anti-lag valve um, into the lineup. This year, we've rolled out a replacement for our, our Gen 4 HP wastegate. So we've got a new Gen 5 HP wastegate and we've upped the range of spring pressures from 35 psi to 50 psi spring pressure so the, the thing's a bit of a monster yeah so our wastegate actuators we've rolled out a new um, basically like a, a, a gen 5 version of our wastegate actuator where, where we've implemented a position sensor option and we've also with the borg warners we've put a uh, swivel on the rod and we're going to be able to sell that product with three different rod lengths in one, one package and with all spring options. So for a Borg Warner EFR, you've got one part number, can do any single turbocharger that they sell at any different spring rate. Because Borg Warners have got a large um, a wastegate flapper, we need to be able to run a twin port like an external wastegate. So we spent a lot of time making that um, operate in a better way. So we've got tighter tolerances on the shaft. We've got uh, longer life components in there and um, with the swivel in there you're going to get a really smooth boost control on a ball burner EFR setup. So our EM range over the last 12 months we've been increasing our application so we've got Mini, um, BMW, Jeep, um, some more Ford applications, Mercedes applications, we're even doing one for McLaren at the moment. So we're really um, concentrating on that and making sure that we've got a, a range of OE replacement applications for the EM and it's, you know, people are responding really well to the product. With our blower valves, we've added a F-150 EM um, to the range, so it's for the 3.5 litre EcoBoost V6. So look, over the last few weeks and months even, we've been teasing that we've, we've got some big stuff coming out at SEMA. We've been working on this project and, and thinking about this project for six to seven years um, and it's just been the opportunity to have the right technology and the, and the right people involved in it that we can get the job done and it's you know making an electronic external wastegate. We're basically taking out the requirement to have air pressure created by the turbocharger system to control the wastegate valve. So what we can do now is we can do predictive boosts. We can open and close the valve independent of what's actually happening inside the engine just with the ECU. So if you want to change something, if you want to go from from zero boost pressure to whatever the turbo can handle, you can just do that in the laptop. It just puts more control in the hands of the of the tuner and we can, it, it just opens up a lot of possibilities. Fundamentally, a traditional wastegate works on air pressure. It has a diaphragm and a spring. So the, the turbocharger system or the vehicle has to be creating that air pressure to then start controlling the wastegate then you start controlling your boost. So what we can do with an electronic wastegate is we can totally separate the pneumatic side of the control from what's happening with the, with the engine. So we can, we can open this thing when the thing's idling or even turned off, we can cycle it and test it. And we can, we can go from zero pressure to, depending on the, on the size of the valve, we can go up to over 100 psi. So you can dial in whatever you want. And we can also, as I said before, we can predict if we, if we know that at a certain part of the, the rev range or, or torque demand on the engine that we, we're going to have trouble catching boost, we can predict that before it happens and get the valve to be where it wants to be before the system starts to react. 
So what we've eliminated out of the system is the control solenoid and the boost lines and a diaphragm. So if you get a failure in any of those lines, you can have an overboost um, situation occur. What we're doing is we're creating something that's, that's outside of the pneumatic uh, requirements of a traditional wastegate and we can put electronic safeties in place with this system. So the water cooling side of it is more for a road application or a circuit application. So if we can keep, we can keep the wastegate around about 100 degrees C, then the thing will live forever and we're not, um, we're not over temping the motor. So the wastegate itself will handle whatever you want. It's just motor protection is the, is the, is the main requirement to an electronic external wastegate. So if you've got something like drag racing, it's probably not in, it's not something that you need to worry about, but if you're doing um, high duty cycle running, so you, you're doing laps at the circuit or road applications, then that's why we've added the, the water cooling option there. So the operational side of the wastegate, obviously you can see there's wires coming out of it. We've got power ground, we've got um, the valve position, so we have an encoder on board so that you know exactly where the wastegate is and it can be calibrated. We're also going to do um, temperature so that we can see, you know, if we, we get to a critical temperature then we can shut the wastegate down. Being such a new technology with the electronic external wastegate, we're going to be working with the ECU manufacturers on making sure that they have a, a system enabled or a, a software feature that can help us control the wastegate. We're also working on, at the moment, like a, a black box that will, will do all the calibration and, and look for the safeties in the product and, and you can just supply a PWM input there and use a traditional boost controller. But obviously being a new technology, um, you know, these things have to be developed and we're, we're really excited to be working with the industry to, to come up with all the different options on this product. We're going to develop a, an interface um, for a boost controller and then we'll be developing a boost controller after that. So we've got you know, a good development path moving forward and, and we're excited to see what all the different options are for this, for this product. This product, as far as the ECU control, similar to a throttle body controller, so the, the guys will be able to tailor their boost um, according to torque demand and throttle demand, um, traction control, all sorts of different things. They'll be able to map that boost curve um, really accurately and as I said, in advance of the event happening sometimes, regardless of the pneumatic requirements of, of the turbocharger system. So we've done a parallel development this year. While we're doing the poppet style or traditional style wastegate, we're actually developing a new type of wastegate, which is a butterfly style external wastegate. We call it a straight gate, because um, it's, it's a straight pipe. The one that we've developed is it has a 50 millimeter valve. It has the low end control of a 40 millimeter wastegate but in the top end it'll outflow a 60 millimeter wastegate. So it's, it's got quite a, a large operating window and we're, we're really excited about you know, getting this thing moving and, and really testing it out. So the, the straight gate does have the opportunity to replace traditional external wastegates. So it's a really exciting technology. It's early days, it's a concept. We, we need to prove it, really punch this thing out before we you know, move down that path. The, Traditional style poppet wastegate, everyone's got a manifold for it. They've got their setup, they know how it's installed in the engine base, so we're providing it them with that solution where they don't have to redo their whole setup. We're, we're, we've worked harder on our solution so that they can implement new technology to their existing mechanical solution. So last year, after 10 years of trying and being runner up so many times, we won best new product for street performance for our EM range of blow-off valves, and we were just over the moon. You know, it's been such a such a a lot of work over so many years and so many different products to get the recognition from you know SEMA and the industry that we were just we we just wanted to come out this year and, and do it again. And funnily enough, we won again this morning for the um, Performance Racing Award, Best New Product uh, for the Electronic Wastegate. And we're just, we're just over the moon and we're just so excited and happy for all the staff, um, the amount of work that they've put in to get this job done. And, and it's, a, it's a good recognition. We're really, really over the moon.